at 7 o'clock Eastern time this morning, the NFL announced the home teams for the 2024 set of international games. At 7.03, the report came out that Bill Belichick was no longer going to be the coach of the Patriots. Talk about the worst timing imaginable for the NFL. Welcome, everybody, to JG9 News, where we talk all things NFL all the time. I'm Jerry here, and I'm representing the 904 from the 602. And today, we are talking about the other announcement that happened earlier this morning. The NFL announcing the home teams for the international slate of games for the 2024 season. There's going to be five international games next year. You got three of them in the United Kingdom, one of them in Germany, and one in Brazil. We're going to get to all those in just a bit. But you can see the teams behind me right here. They are playing a huge part in this. So the Jaguars are going to play a game in London next year. No surprises there. They've had an agreement with London to play there every year since 2013. 2020 being the exception to the rule because of COVID. This is now going to be excluding 2020. The 11th straight season that the Jaguars play a game in London. Now the interesting thing with this. They played two games back to back this season in London. So they had a game against the Atlanta Falcons. They hosted the Falcons. And then they played the Buffalo Bills on the road. It was the first time ever that a team played back-to-back -back games in London. The Jags went 2-0 in that stretch. Everything went pretty well for Jacksonville. Will they do it again this year? This upcoming season in 2024, could they possibly do it again? You look at the teams that are playing in London. You got the Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings. The Jaguars are scheduled to play the NFC North this year. Now, they're scheduled to play the Bears on the road in Chicago, so it can't be that. But they are scheduled to play the Minnesota Vikings at home. They played them last time at home in 2016, so every eight years they play the Vikings at home, and it's lined up where the Vikings have one of the home games in London. They're one of the teams playing there, so maybe you could see the Jaguars play in London and then play the following week against the Vikings playing back-to-back -back weeks in London. We'll see how that works out. For the other teams, besides the Jaguars, every team announced as a home team is an NFC team. No surprise there as part of the rule changes with 17 games in the season. In even number years, the NFC gets nine home games. And in the odd number years, the AFC gets nine home games. So in odd number years, the AFC team would be the home team in an international game. And in even number years, it's the NFC team. Jaguars are the acceptance of the rule since they have a long-standing agreement with the NFL. Now, there's a few other things with this. There's only one game in Germany this year, down from two from the 2023 season. I wonder why that's the case, especially since both games sold out in Frankfurt. And demand was off the charts. It was impossible to get tickets to that game. Maybe it's a lack of same availability because they're playing at the Allianz Arena where Bayern Munich plays and they have European competitions alongside their Bundesliga schedule. Unlike Frankfurt where you didn't really have to worry about that too much. So maybe scheduling conflicts played a part in that and why they're only doing one game in Munich this year and only one game in Germany. But the Panthers are one of the teams playing. They're the home team for the Germany game. And that makes sense. There are five teams in the NFL that have territorial rights in Germany. So they can market in Germany. They have exclusive rights. It's the Chiefs. It's the Patriots. It's the Buccaneers. It's the Panthers. And it's the Falcons. And if you're doing the math there, the Buccaneers played there in Germany in 2022. The Patriots and the Chiefs, they played home games there in 2023. The Panthers are playing a home game this year. And there's five teams with territorial rights. They can't have the Falcons host next year. The Falcons can host a game in 2025. So you might figure that Panthers-Falcons could be one of the games in Germany so that every team with territorial rights in Germany plays there in a three-year stretch. That would seem to make the most sense. So if I had to predict the schedule, I would say Jaguars-Vikings would be one of the games, and I would say Panthers-Falcons. Look for that to be one of the Germany games if I was just speculating. Now, the interesting thing about this announcement is that you see the teams behind me right here, Jaguars, Panthers, Vikings, Bears, there is no 15. They did not announce the Brazil game. My guess is that the NFL is in panic mode, and here's what I mean by that. My guess is that the NFL was banking on the Lions against the Dolphins to be the home game in Brazil next year for Detroit, because the Dolphins have territorial rights in Brazil. They're the only team with territorial rights in Brazil. So you figure the first ever game in Brazil, you get the team that is the de facto home team in the Miami Dolphins. It was looking good for Lions-Dolphins, because the Lions, the NFC North champion, plays the AFC East champion. And then the Dolphins collapsed down the stretch. Buffalo came out of nowhere to win the AFC East. And now the Lions are no longer scheduled to play the Dolphins. So now with that collapse, they're not scheduled to play each other. They might be scrambling for another game because the Lions-Dolphins is off the table since the two teams cannot meet until 2026 at the earliest. So no announcement 
on the Brazil game or who's playing in that one, but we do know the Panthers are playing in Germany. No real surprises there, considering they have territorial rights there. Bears, Vikings have games in London. They will travel there. The Vikings, they're losing a home game to London for the first time since 2013. Bears losing a home game to London for the first time ever. The Jaguars are back in London, and they might play a series of back-to-back -back games there, with one of those games potentially being against the Vikings, like they had against the Bills this year, where they were the road team one week, and they were the home team against the Falcons. But what are your thoughts on the announcement? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you like the international games? Do you think they should scrap them? What market should they go to next? Do you think they made the right call in terms of the team's play? I want to hear everything you have to say. And that's going to do it for this episode of GG9 News. Be sure you like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And be sure to follow me on my main channel, Jarrogator9, where we talk all things NFL history all the time. Until next time, Jarrogator9 signing off. And as always, go Jags.